The multimodality viewer allows you to view different imaging modalities simultaneously, thus simplifying the visualization of baseline and follow up examinations. You can either use predefined layouts or create individual layouts. In this video, you will learn essential functions for efficient multimodality viewer workflow. In this retina patient, the images of the right and left eye should be displayed simultaneously. Select the layout tab in the action bar. Here you will find various layouts with different colored viewports for arranging the image data. Each color serves as a placeholder for a specific image. In the series thumbnail section, select the images that you want to view simultaneously while holding the control key. For example, the OCT volume scan of the right and left eye. Drag and drop both images to a layout with different colored viewports. The multimodality viewer opens. The ribbon bar is located at the top with the viewport containing the selected scans or images below. The green frame shows the active viewport where you can zoom and scroll through the individual OCT section images. To navigate through several images at the same time, click the red framed inactive viewports while holding the control key. To access further tools and images, right click an image in a viewport to open the context menu. Here you can adjust the favorites area according to your requirements. You can also activate the Smart Select function to access further images of the patient. To do this, click the Show Smart Select button. If required, you can anchor this window to the left or right side of the multimodality viewer by clicking the Dock Left or Dock Right button. When opening the multimodality viewer, Smart Select will automatically appear at the selected location. In the next step, we want to view further fundus images of this patient in addition to the two OCT volume scans. To do this, select a layout with six viewports via the layout button. Any images from the Smart Select window can now be dragged and dropped into the empty viewports. In the Smart Select window, the acquisitions are divided into different categories. The Doc tab contains documents and saved reports. The OP tab, short for Ophthalmic Picture, contains fundus images of all modalities. And the OPT tab, short for Ophthalmic Picture Tomography, contains all OCT images. Assign multicolor and autofluorescence images to the empty viewports by selecting them in the OP tab and dragging and dropping them into the respective viewports. If you want to rearrange the images, click the box in the bottom right corner of the viewport and drag and drop the image to the desired position while holding the left mouse button. To enlarge an image, double click the image. Double click again to return to the previous view. With the multimodality viewer, you can view image data from one examination day as well as an entire examination history. The current viewport allows to view either three follow-up examinations of the right and left eye or six follow-up examinations of one eye simultaneously. In our example, the fundus images are to be exchanged with OCT follow-up examinations. To do this, select the OPT tab in the Smart Select window and drag and drop the desired OCT follow-up scans to the corresponding free viewports. To scroll through all OCT scans simultaneously, hold down the control key 
and click the red framed inactive viewport again to activate them. Scrolling causes the scan lines in all marked images to move simultaneously. To ensure that the scan lines are in the same position, first scroll up or down until all scan lines are at the top or bottom edge of the image and are aligned. The OCT scans can now be compared. You also have the option of printing a selection of the images displayed in the multimodality viewer. Click the small arrow in the quick access toolbar of any viewport and select print to activate the print tool. Hover the mouse pointer over the viewport containing images that are to be included in the printout and click the printer button on the left. Click the Print Layouts button in the ribbon bar to select the appropriate print layout. In our example, all six images are to be printed. The print preview is displayed. Select the appropriate printer in the print settings and click the Print button. Close the window with X to return to the navigator. The multimodality viewer is also ideal for displaying fluorescence or as in this example, ICG angiographies. For example, if you drag and drop seven images into the layout with eight viewports, one viewport remains free to which you can drag and drop a chronologically appropriate OCT image. All the previously mentioned options for swapping images within the viewports and exchanging images from the Smart Select window are also available here. The first viewport contains a video of the early arterial phase. Click on the small arrow in the quick access toolbar and activate the Cine function. The Cine toolbar is displayed in the selected viewport. Click the play button to start the video. This chapter provides you with an overview of some of the useful tools that are available in the multimodality viewer. As an example, we will open two fundus images in a layout with two viewports. In the ribbon bar, you can find the tools divided into categories. Click on the small triangle on the right hand side of each category to display additional tools. You can also access the tools via the context menu that appears when right clicking in any viewport. Click Show All Functions to list all tool categories. You can use the drag and drop function to add your favourites in the context menu. The zoom function, for example, is a useful tool. In addition to fixed magnifications, you can also use the mouse wheel to intuitively enlarge the desired image area. To do this, Activate the zoom tool with the mouse wheel via the ribbon bar or the context menu. Now you can zoom the images by rolling and moving them by clicking and holding the right mouse button. To deactivate the zoom mode, click the zoom button with the mouse wheel again. Brightness and contrast of an image can be easily adjusted by moving the mouse pointer horizontally and vertically while holding the left mouse button. You can edit the contrast with a horizontal movement and the brightness with a vertical movement. If you want to reset any adjustments, click the Reset Selected Images button from the Image Tools category.